Welcome to this viperbane.com tutorial. My name is Jim Sandborg and today I'll be showing you a little nifty trick I have in Photoshop when I'm dealing with photographs that have high detail so you need to bring out that little bit extra sharpness. It's a method that many of you already know about and it's a default plugin that exists within Photoshop. During the Christmas I went to one of these popular Christmas parties with a theme and the theme was the 1920s and as you can see there is a lot of high detail on these dresses and the jewelries and everything so obviously you want to bring these out a little bit I've already delivered these to the client and these are just the sample images so I'm showing you even in the low quality JPEG formats that this has a significant impact using this little trick as you can see in this last image it's a little bit soft around the edges and we're gonna enhance that just a little, little bit. So all you need to do is start up Photoshop. I believe you can do anything from Photoshop CS2 and onward and this, uh, this filter should actually be there. So let's begin by importing these photos. So as you can see here, we have the soft photograph. I'm gonna begin with this one because this will hopefully be showing the best details. I'm not sure exactly how efficient it will be looking for you when you see it in the YouTube compression. But let's get started here. So the first thing you need to do when you have the background layer is you just duplicate it. So Command or Control J or you can just drag it down to this icon here next to the bin and you will duplicate the layer exactly as it is. So with the new layer selected, head in on Filter under other you have high pass as you can see here high pass brings out the edges really really well so you get really sharp edges and we're going to use this trick to bring out the contrast of the photograph but as you can see right now you just have a black and white sort of fussy mess so you go in here on the blending mode and you put overlay in. Now, it may not be completely obvious right away how sharp this is. So just take this eye icon over here and disable it. And you will see suddenly there is a big difference between these two things. But this is not all. Once you have done this, they apply the filter high pass to the layer that is above the layer you wish to enhance a little bit. Select this layer again and keep it selected. Take the eraser tool and change the opacity somewhere around 50%. I like to work around the 42% mark when I do this. And all you really need to do is delete a little bit around the edges here. Because as I said, we wanted to maintain the softness but sort of keep the crystal sharpness that is brought forward now. So what I'm doing is I'm deleting slowly uh, the layer so because the brush is run with an opacity you're not deleting the entire layer so it's kind of like scraping thinly off and revealing what is underneath so keep doing this and change the brush sizes as you need so uh, let's soften back up the hair here a little bit but the girl on the right hand side she has one of these hair bands so we want to keep that a little bit sharp same here, there is an, uh, an earring down right in there in the middle. So let's keep that one sharp as well. But let, let's brush away most of the other stuff. This necklace going down here, let's try and keep that one with a little bit of sharpness. When you're confident that you have had done enough, try again and just look at the difference. And you see how the feathers are really popping out. And this is a really, really quick and easy trick and you saw how quickly this was for me and you see the difference now the layer is gone this is the original and then the layer has been applied it's really really simple to do that just to show you what you can do with other photographs like black and white you do exactly the same so come on J duplicate the layer apply the filter so just quickly command F control F to do it quickly change the blending mode to overlay so that you see through it's just the contrast that is being kept and on a photograph like this the guy is obviously leaning in so we want to 
create sort of a halo around him. So we're deleting everything around. So we're gonna create a big circle. We can actually do it this way. So we want to go in with the lasso. And we wanna keep the hats a little bit. So we wanna keep the top torso of him. So we keep this bit. And with that, we go in to select, modify, and feather. So we keep a little bit of a fuzzy zone there. Now this photograph is fairly big. It's 51 meg when you process it in Photoshop. So I would say it's about 3000 pixels times something. So we want a fair few pixels here, but I keep within the range of about 50. So now you have him selected. That is the portion we want to keep. The rest we want to blur out. So command shift I to invert the selection. Then you just take your brush and you go quickly over. And I need to do it twice because I didn't bother changing the opacity level here. Well, command or control D to deselect and then you can examine the result. As you see, this is without the layer. Now the layer is gone. And then we add it, we bring out a little bit of the nice fabric in his clothes. You get a little bit sharp around the eyes. And if you're really, really picky, you can go down into small detail. If you want to do proper photoshopping, so you can take away these areas here, where you also have the sharpness layer applied. But that is completely up to you. I'm just showing you a very quick, very efficient method of sharpening up photographs. Just a quick little trick, and as you see, there is there is probably more you can do, but the, the um, effect is so small. So, when we have photographs like this one, there is a little bit, there is a lot going on on this lady here. She has a lot of jewelry. Her dress is fantastic. There's a microphone. The purse she's holding. All of them have, have a lot of details. So, it's not as simple to apply the same effect here. So. We'll begin with doing the, the usual bit. We apply a high pass after duplicating the layer, of course. We go in on the overlay. And as you see, now we have a really, now it's almost disturbingly high contrast. So you see that? This is a little bit normal. You can still see everything. And this is really, really sharp on your eyes. But let's begin with the usual bit. So take your eraser tool and begin taking away those areas that you do not want. This works sort of the same way as you do when you have an adjustment layer. Instead of painting black and white, you're just deleting a little bit of the layers that you do not want. And with the, um, with the opacity layer down a little bit, I can sort of control. And if you're very, very nitpicky, you can sit with a 10% scraper, so you need to do nine scrapes to have a 10% see-through or if you just do one scrape you have 10% um, uh, taken away from the 100% it's it took me a while to get used to this but since I learned how to do it there this method is absolutely fantastic and for me it's so quick now so as you can see here I've taken away a lot as you can see if I'm taking away the background layer this is sort of what it looks like so i'm keeping a lot around this uh, lady taking away a little bit on the arms and areas where it gave too sharp a contrast so she's being too too sharp toward the background but even so when we apply the layer you see it's incredibly sharp so what you can do then is lower the opacity until you find some good level and as you can see it flicks pretty quickly when it goes down to the lower percent but I would say keep it somewhere about 55% it's not too strong not too obvious but it gives that little extra kick and it brings out high details especially if you do a photo shoot like Julia or something well my name has been Jim Sandborg from viperbane.com. So if you like this tutorial, please uh, give a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say. I promise I will be, uh, well, I will try to promise and deliver more tutorials uh, more regularly in the future. And do let me know if you like this kind of tutorial. That is quick and easy in showcasing what you can do and 
what some limitations can be. I hope you learned something new today, so feel free to send me a comment and hit the like button. My name's been Jim Sandborg, over and out.